Hello and welcome to Japanese Garden Bristol. Okay, so you might have seen a video I put up about uh, the Japanese style fence, I found, which is the bamboo across the top of this fence and uh, the roofing. Uh, that is down in the other section of the garden. And what I'm going to do today is um, I'm going to create a Japanese fence with a purpose. Okay, so um, I did see this design online, um, so I'm going to copy it in my way. Um, so what it is, I took the old bamboo off the bottom of this fence here. I'll put up a picture, um, repainted it, and uh, done all the black, redone the black, and as you see, I've got the bamboo and the roof on. So what I'm going to do in this video is um, do something a bit different to the rest of the garden and it's going to be that, I'm hoping it's going to be that good that I'm going to do it down the rest of the garden. So um, let's get on with it and see how it goes. So here we are in the workshop. Now, as you know, if you watch my other videos, I like using this 6B1. Um, you can use batten, and it'd probably be a lot easier for yourself to use batten. It's just I get so much more out of this uh, 6B2, a uh, 6B1. Um, so that's why I get it, and I cut it down with my saw here, my paint saw. It does a really good job. And uh, here we go, here's uh, about 30 of them. I just took about five minutes to chop them up. And uh, so yeah, they look good. Like I said, you can use batten, which would be a lot easier option. Um, that is one inch by one inch, well about one, one and a quarter by one inch maybe. Um, use what kind of batten you want to use. And uh, I'll see what we do next with it. Okay, so next I will paint them all up, put them all together and paint them. As you can see, they're all separate. If you put them together, it makes it easier to paint them. Um, now, when you do paint them, or if you paint them, uh, do the same as the fence you're putting them on. Um, because that way, it does look a lot more effective having them the same color. I did try a a test on doing a different color and it just looks so wrong so um, doing the same color is the fence uh, the stuff I'm using is Copenhagen, Autumn Brown, um, Ultimate so uh, it's for summer houses I've used it for years I when I built a shed back in the other house uh, over well, no, 23 years ago um, I use that stuff and it, it's got a, um, a color lifespan I think it's five years or something and it does really work so that's I can recommend that stuff um, as you if you watch some of my videos um, I have certain um, paints or products that I would use um, that's one of them the other one is ducks back for the black and I also burn the wood as well. So that's the free, oh, and the decking one I use. Um, I think there's a video on the decking one I use, which is a really good one as well, because I use that for the roofs. So um, there we go, I'll catch you in a bit. Okay, so I've done one and a half panels here. Uh, great effect I love it and um, where I put them on okay so uh, I've done them in rows of threes twos threes twos and so on um, make yourself up some spacers with the same wood um, I've got two spacers here and what I've done is done a gap of two buttons okay so there's a gap of two buttons between each section and then to get the right distance between each one is I use the same pattern and put it in the middle there. So when you nail them in, it will look like put one in there, hammer it in, 
then you put the next one in. That's that's the that's the gap there. Okay, I'll get the camera in a minute and uh, show you that. Okay, so you can see that this one here is to do all the gaps in between them and then the big gap will be the same gap as two of them together. Okay, so you get an equal gap all the way along. Okay, so that's the start of it. I'm going to continue on all the way along now and I get the whole lot done and then I'll, I'll let you know why um, this fence has got a purpose. Catch you in a bit. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that video and uh, I hope I explained it enough so you can uh, build your own Japanese star fence. Um, in the video I did say I think it was an inch by inch the, the baton. Um, it's 30mm by 20mm or thereabouts. So um, that's what I've used and it looks really good. And like I said, keep the same colour of the fence um, I think because it, it looks far better. I did try an air car like I said and um, it didn't work so I think it looks really good. Um, if you haven't got an insert on your fence like I have uh, what I suggest you do is build a frame and put the bamboo, uh, not bamboo sorry, the button hang the, the um, framework and fix the framework to the fence. I think it would get the same effect. Now at the beginning of the video I did say this fence will have a purpose um, and when I seen it, it um, online I thought that is ideal, that's just what I need. So this is why I've done this fence. When you've seen the fence before I've done the bamboo at the top and the roofs, it was trellis. And on the trellis, I had this climber here, a Japanese climber. They went through the trellis, and it's a very strong climber, so it did wreck the trellis a lot. Um, so when I done the roofs, I had uh, I cut this back. So next year, it grows mad. It, it really does grow quite a way, and um, it's got nice big leaves on as well. It's, it gives a nice effect in the garden as well. So. When I built this roof, I thought, well, how am I gonna, what am I gonna train this to? Um, because I was thinking about keeping it in this window here, um, but it's gonna be hard because of the, the distance this uh, climber goes. So by doing this fence, what I'll be doing next year, when it really grows, I'll be um, feeding it in and out of the batter. And hopefully it's gonna give a really nice effect all the way along. So even though I've got rid of the trellis at the top, I've created a different kind of trellis. Although I've seen it online and um, I've implemented it into my garden 
and uh, done it my way. It wasn't completely this design. Um, I done I designed this myself. Um, so the ivy would go through it and hopefully give a nice effect. So then in the winter it looked nice and then in the summer it looked different with the climber climbing along it. Well, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video. That's my fence for the purpose. And uh, I got a lot more, I got off more coming up. I've got some uh, things going on. It, today is uh, it's the 25th of the 11th. And uh, I better get this all uh, edited and ready to go out tonight. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching my videos. I hope you get a lot out of my videos. I've got quite a few videos on there. Um, I've been doing it every week and a few little ones in between. So um, there's a lot to see. Hopefully help you create your own Japanese style garden. Um, got a lot of interesting things going on at the moment, which I'm going to film for the next few weeks coming up. Um, and a lot more information coming on. So keep an eye on my videos. Um, if you like them, please subscribe, um, click like and all the rest. And uh, thank you for watching. Catch you next time.